Alright, let's go. Yeah, you have to use your hands. Uh, which way should I look? Look, you can look, look at the camera. My okay. darling, can you come over here? Answer every question. Why So I started fencing at the because my father thought it'd be a good thing to do. Uh, at the time, I was 11 years old, and I was playing baseball and basketball and playing on the piano or practicing the piano, and I wasn't very good at any of those things. So my dad said, let's try fencing. And I also like Star Wars. So I, uh, I was a big fan of Luke Skywalker, and that was part of the reason. Was it a little like you, Krishna? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can take him. Has it gone? Why don't I hold this for you while? OK. When will you end fencing? Say again? <laughs> when will you end fencing? When will I end fencing? I don't know if I'll ever be complete with fencing. It's something I love. Uh, I'm no longer competing, but I, uh, I stopped competing after the 2008 Olympics, but I love the sport. All of my closest friends are in the sport, and I enjoy being able to have these friendships and helping little kids start fencing as well. <laughs> um, I use a lot of equipment. You don't want to use that question? <coughs> I use a lot of equipment. When was your last tournament? When was my last tournament? My Who did you face? Okay, good question. So my last tournament was at the Beijing Olympics in 2008, August 2008, and I lost for the gold medal against France. So that was the last time I fenced in the tournament. Do you have any other questions? Like, no. you don't want? Do you have any advice for a young fencer? That's a good one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you? Yes. So, the advice I would give to a young fencer is definitely practice your footwork and don't be discouraged. Uh, just focus on practicing the footwork and the and your lessons, and everything will be fine. You never have to worry. <laughs> Yes, my, my coach is Yuri Gelman, and he's the best coach in the world for me. Uh, he taught, he brought me from being a person that wasn't very good to being one of the best fencers in the world. There's got to be more. He came all the way. Do you want to ask anything more? <laughs> well, what about asking him what he's doing now? What are you doing? <laughs> So I'm, I'm a student like you in uh, business school at Columbia University where your father works and I love it. It's been a great experience. I'm meeting a lot of new people, but I still miss fencing every day with my friends. You, is that, did you fence every day? Did that I did. I fenced six days a week uh, in practice here at this very club. Wow. So uh, I love fencing and I and I'll still be involved in some way. but. Competing, I don't think that will happen anymore. And did you start competing the first year? No, that's a great question. I, I didn't start competing until after three years of fencing, two or three years of fencing. I just practice all the time. Yeah. That's how long it takes to get good, right? Yes. All right. Are you happy? Is that, is that, is that what you wanted? Yeah. <laughs> it's short. All right. It's a long day, a lot of practice. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. Oh, it's my pleasure. I hope this turns out great. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll send you. We'll, Please. we'll oh, have yes, an editor right. and we'll send it to you. And oh, I'm looking forward to it. Do you want to say something? You're a fencer too. No. no? no. Did you have any questions for him? Like, no. did he fence against girls? No. No? <laughs> no. Did he? Ask him. Well, did he fence against girls? My sister is also an Olympic fencer. And I stopped fencing against girls because my sister would beat me all the time. So my parents thought it would be better that I not fence her because she could always beat me and I could never beat her. Is that interesting? <laughs> she's much better than I am. <laughs> does, she, does she still play? Uh, no, she's also like me, just working and uh, helping out on, on the How weekend. old are you? I'm 31. Are we done?